Hello, you folks, it's Alter here, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Today, we're doing another subscriber request from a very, very long time ago, just between bush trips, Formula One, and um, my surgery recovery. I haven't had time to get to these. Last video was a subscriber request, though, um, for Cape Cod. Today, Kruger National Park, South Africa. I hope the person who requested this is still watching the channel. We are going to wing it this one. I don't have a flight plan. I kind of have a plan. Um, that's 50 degrees. Yeah, that's right. So we're going to go this way. We're going to head north, get into the park, and then just fly north along the border of um, South Africa, Mozambique. And if we get far enough, we will land at an airport on the corner of Mozambique, Zimbabwe, and South Africa. If we get that far and if I can find it. There are so many airports around here. And when you zoom in on the sim, there's like clusters and clusters of airports. So we'll see how far we get. Um, we'll see how beautiful this is. Africa and South Africa is not getting much attention in the sim. And my understanding, this is not official, but my understanding is Hasbro or whoever they hire or contract isn't really allowed to go fly and get detailed stuff for the sim. That's my understanding. So that is the case in other places too. So people will be like, why has this area gotten an update? Why does this area have an update? And I want this other area. Well, either they're not allowed to get detailed stuff or there just isn't stuff available. Or the government's like, I don't want you flying planes over us. So like for um, imagery. So we just have to use what the satellite imagery is, which is what this is, I believe. Looks really, really, really good though. This looks really good to be honest. So, there you go. Is it a sightseeing simulator or a flight simulator? It's both. It's both. So, we're going to go sightseeing today. We're going to take this out again because if we do want to get to the northern end of the park um, or the reserve, it's like a game reserve for game animals, uh, we need something fast. So, we're going to fly low so we can see stuff, but then if we want to get somewhere far, we need something fast. So, we're going to use this one again. That is what we're doing. All right. So, let's hop inside and pull up my checklist. I have these checklists that I make and I have them on my other monitor. Um, so we're at the Kruger National Park International Airport right now. We're going to fly north and we're going to see if we can find Lake Massinger. Massinger? Whatever it's called. That's actually in Mozambique, but it's close to the border. Um, and then we're just going to keep going north. So I also have Google Maps open as well with um, places we can go and whatever just so I can keep track of where we are. And I'm excited for this flight. I'm excited to finally get to it. When the person suggested it, I'm like, that's going to be amazing. We have done South African flights before, um, but on the West Coast. This is the eastern edge of South Africa. Um, kind of outside of Johannesburg, but a little farther. I wouldn't say like just outside of Johannesburg is probably further away than that. But on the map, it's like on the Johann side. Um, whoops, I got the wrong document on my other monitor. There we go. Alrighty, parking brake set. Let's confirm that. Um, yeah, because the tow power is going down. Okay. Confirm riders in this one. Yep. Fuel and passengers. Um, we're not going to be too complicated today. I'm just going to probably add some people because we can. The numbers are getting smaller because the kids are in the back. Except baggage. I think we're going to do um, a little bit more baggage on this one. A little bit of more fuel. I don't think we're going to need more fuel. Well, let's put some in anyway. And there you go. Alrighty. Crash lever up. Up. Thank you. Source battery. I need to start zooming in here um, to see this stuff. Generator on main. You've got it. Panel lights. Bam. It's all or nothing. Look at that. There's no... Well, wait a second. Oh, hang on. Look at that. I should have figured that out last time. Oh, well. Um, cabin and access lights on. This is what drives me crazy. See, to tell what's what. Right? Up should be on. Or is this not on? Is there? I don't know. It's hard to see. Um, start the multifunction display. Push right mouse soft key. There we go. Make it full screen. Wrong one. Multifunction. Full screen. There we go. Landing gear light test. That's down here. I want to test the lights. Bam. 
Make sure it all lights up. Yeah, there we go. Check fuel quantity on the multifunction. That's here. We already did our fuel anyway. Alrighty, time to start it up. Strobe lights are on, which I think we push up, right? Yes, I'm sure it is. Yoke conditioners to full, which on my yoke they are. There we go, ignition to auto, which is already on auto. Already there. Starter on, and it turns off automatically once it starts up. But what I'm going to do, I want to zoom this out a little bit. Um, so yeah, so Lake Mazir, Missing Near, whatever's right there. That's about hopefully halfway our trip. I want to go more. So this river right here. So this is where Zimbabwe to the north, Mozambique to the east, and South Africa meet right there. I'm hoping to get to an airport there. But there are clusters and clusters of them everywhere once you start zooming in. So I don't know. See, look at look at all these airports as you zoom in. So hopefully we'll be able to find an airport up there. Let's start with zoom like this, and then we'll zoom in later. All right, are we up and running? We are up and running, so con connect. Next, <laughs> next thing is to make sure auxiliary boost is on, which is like this. Auto is two. We want it on, I guess. And fuel select auto, which it wasn't last time. Starter, do 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 do. Engine oil, throttle, oh yeah, feather, throttle twice. I don't know why, but it says to do that in the sim. All right, let's see here. Ignition auto, boost pump, starter, engine oil, feather, auto on the boost pump. Fuel select auto, fuel select test. Make sure it stays running when you change tanks. There you go. Um, What else? AP trims, yes. We will use autopilot just to hold a heading just so we can look around. Confirm generator main. We already did that. Bleed to auto under primary flight display. That's over here. Whoa, come here. Come on. There we go. Uh, where was I? AC fans if you want to do that. I don't think you hear I don't think you hear the fan. And some really nice paper aircraft you even hear fans when you turn them on. It's really cool. Pilot AC can turn it off. Huh. Alrighty, what else? Where were we? Um, oxygen on, yep. In case we get pretty high, you never know. DI is needed. Um, it's calling for PO heat. Well, at least do that. There's a separator. What's outside air temp? 23 degrees. If we get up to the clouds, I think I'm going to clear the clouds because I really want to be able to see what we're doing. So we might clear up the weather. This is real world weather, by the way. But I think we'll clear it up so you can see. But we'll start with it on. Um, PFD wind on. It always is in the update. Flight plan. I told the flight plan. We're just going to fly north until it's been too long and run out of time and then we'll land at the closest airport there will always be an airport and this thing can land anywhere so we're good all right let's see if there is adis here um nope so what we're going to do is we're going to hit b and the keyboard for the barometer to set that 3003 don't have to worry about gyro drift in this um, let's get taxi clearance. So we're gonna go like this. We're gonna depart to the north. Ground turtle soup. Tango, tango, tango. Four one. Ready to taxi north departure. Turtle soup. Tango, tango, tango. Four one. Taxi two and hold short of runway two three via taxiway. Contact tower on one one nine or decimal two when ready. Taxi 2 and hold short runway 2 tree via taxiway turtle soup tango 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 4-1. All right, let's see how long we have. Oh, we need to make his back taxi. That's fine. We don't have to back taxi far because we don't need much space to take off. So that'll be fine. So what do we do here? Um, set up autopilot. We don't really need to yet. Um, that's how we want to just hold a heading. Um, nav source FMS already is. It's not an IFR flight anyway. We don't have anything in the GPS. Speed bugs on. That we can do. Come down here. Speed bugs all on. Um, oh, there's no, there aren't any for descent. Interesting. Anyway, that means up here it tells you everything, right? And then you can look up what VR, X, Y, and all that stuff means. Rotate. Um, um, that abort. That type of thing. Um, there you go. Why can't I remember all of them? Whatever. What do we have for weather? 
Oh, we have clouds, but the weather's fine. Okie dokie. Alrighty, what are we doing? That's it. Nurse separator on. I guess we'll turn it on in case we run into ice chunks. This is to keep ice chunks from getting into the motor. Um, but it reduces power, so you don't always want to use it. But we will, in this case, taxi lights. Where are taxi lights in this airplane? Over here. Taxi lights on. Props forward. They are now. Flaps down, which is on the right there. And begin our taxi. Okay, here we go. Parking brake off. We're going to scoot between this woman and the truck. As we say in the Midwest, let me just scoot on right by you. Okay, we saved her. Oh, hey, we didn't hit anything. Not that I have collision like that for not anyway, but it was fun to avoid it. Alrighty. I love this plane. It's a cool little business plane. It's also a really cool triple prop. Enough detail to keep me immersed in terms of things you can do and play with. And, um... You can use a GA or IFR, whatever you want to do. You can go long distance very fast, very quickly. All right, what we need to do is we need to come up here and turn our landing lights. We need to turn all the lights because we're on the runway. So there we go. Alrighty. This is no throttle, by the way. This is freewheeling. We're just going to come down here a little bit. Not too much. Like I said, we don't need much space to take off on this thing. STOL, sort of take off landing. Not to be confused with SOL. Alrighty, let's see. Is there a vehicle on the runway? That's interesting. There should be more than enough space. So let's... We have to stop for it to say clearance. And there we go. Tower Turtle Soup. Tango, Tango, Tango. 4-1, ready at runway. 2-tree, north departure. Turtle Soup. Tango, Tango, Tango. 4-1, altimeter. Tree, zero, decimal, zero, tree. When calm, north departure approved. Cleared for takeoff runway. 2-tree. Cleared for takeoff runway, two tree, turtle soup, tango, 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 four one. All right, dimmer switch turns on. That means all the lights in the back get dim, so your eyes are adjusted to the outside in case there's a crash and you need to see what's going on. Landing lights on, already did that. Pulse and nav lights already on. Confirm the flaps and they're down. And then we're going to start the timer. Uh, where's the utilities in this one? Timer, timer, and let's start that thing up. Timer is also running down there, so we can see. Now we can go back to our home screen here. And here we go. We will rev this up with the brakes on just in case. What's that on there? It's your separator on. Of course it is. And here we go. And I'm going to take off. And we're going to head to the north. I'll use heading bug to hold a heading. Um, look at that. We can almost take off in the little back taxi section. Not quite, I guess. Here we go. You ready? See that? Bam, that R's rotate. And no going back now. And boom, I rotated a little shy. That's okay. Brakes us up the wheels. Gear coming up. Flaps coming up. Looking over this plateau. I'm not climbing very steeply on purpose because this is really cool. I want to see what happens when we go over this plateau. Oh, that's so cool. Isn't that fun? All traffic and everything. How fun is this? How beautiful. How fun. Oh, this is fantastic stuff. Alrighty, now let's actually climb and get serious here. Let's head. Well, actually, we're probably tango, already tango, tango, where we want to be. ITT is mad, which means you got to bring back throttles and props a little bit here. Come on. Thank you, my TT temperature. Alrighty, let's zoom this in a bit. Actually, like I said, we're actually kind of... Well, what's this? Now what? More ITT? Anyway. Yeah, let's turn around, head the direction we want. I think I mistakenly said we're already going the direction we want to. I meant we're going opposite the direction we want to. If I wasn't clear. Anyway, Tango, what? Tango, Tango, four, one, did you copy? Oh, whoops. Why isn't it picking me up? Tower turtle soup, tango, 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 four one frequency change. Alrighty, are we climbing? Climbing, still hand flying. Until we turn around and then eventually um we'll use autopilots. What are we at? Now we're at fifty three hundred now. These are pretty high, so let's go seven 
thousand. Let's plan on that. And where's the heading bug? Let's go like this. Bring it back just a little bit more of east. And vertical speed. Let's say feet per minute. And flight trajectory turned on. Autopilot yaw damper on its own. Okay. That was easy. Normally you have to push those things. We are running autopilot for now. Um, let's move the heading bug a little bit more aggressively here. We're going to 7,000 feet. We'll see what that looks like. There's an airport where you took off right there. Beautiful climb out of these hills. Oh man. I have to say I'm kind of proud of that. It looks like I'm actually following a SID. Standard instrument departure. But I'm not. I'm just flying an airplane. Oh man, that's beautiful. I have a feeling this is going to be a long video. I do not apologize. There's just so much to see. So much to look at. We're going to probably see right below the base of the clouds. So we won't have to clear them up. How perfect is that? Oh my goodness. Wait a second. How come we're still turning though? Oh, you know why? Because I was dumb. And I didn't push the heading button. Dang it. Oh, here it was bragging about how smooth this was. And I forgot one of the most important things. So when I engaged autopilot, it held our bank. See the bank button? I didn't push it, but basically it holds your bank. That's why when I, also with attitude, that's why when I did vertical speed, it kept my vertical speed without me having to dial it in. So anyway, oops. <laughs> Other than forgetting to hit the heading button, that was really amazing. All right, let's hop outside, have a look around before the train gets lower, because as you enter the national park, the train seems to go down a little bit. Whoa, look at this. That's amazing. Wow. I asked myself, my friend from South Africa, I asked her if she knows of this area, since she lives in Johan. I haven't heard back from her yet, she's kind of busy, but... Um, maybe I'll hear back from her before the flight's done. I doubt it, but it'd be kind of fun so I can discuss it with you. Alright, I better be careful. I don't want to cross into Mozambique yet. I want to... Um, where are we? Okay, no, this river is not Mozambique. This river... Close, though. Um, I want to say South Africa and ride the border. Is the border going to be... Um, on this. Sometimes country borders do show up. Wow, we're making good time. This is so far from the airport already. Whoa. I just want to know. Well, okay, I can use the lake as the border. So what we'll do is we'll zoom out. Okay, see this lake? That's the border. So we'll just kind of use this there's our border. Actually, you know what else you can do? See how these are Foxtrot Alphas? And these are Foxtrot Quebecs? That's how you know where the border is, too. Yep, this lake right here is literally the border. So, as long as we... Wait, that's a Foxtrot Alpha, and that's Mozambique. Um. Okay, so that's not 100% the case. But you see what I'm saying, right? Because usually the codes change when you're in different countries. Huh. Let's get some speed back going here. We're slowing down. Um... Anyway, so as long as we ride along this lake and that lake, that's the border. So, um, there we go. And of course, the blue to the right is the ocean. It's, um, what now? ITT is Indian Ocean. So, alrighty, keep my map where we were here so I can see what's going on in real life. In real life. ITT, they're really mad at us for the temperatures, aren't they? Fine, I'll bring it back just a little bit. Just a little bit. We can also turn off nurse's separator because obviously we're not going to run into ice or anything here. Okay, the scenery is getting away from us, so we better get going here. But let's just do our cruise checklist. Dimmer switch off. Yes, they can use the lights now any way they want to. D ice is needed, not necessary. Land lights off at 10 grand. We're not going to 10 grand. And there we go. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. I think what I'm going to do. We're just going to go bit the sightseeing for a while. And when we get closer to this airport, I'll talk to you again and we'll regroup. How about that? One more thing I wanted to say, though, is there's no fauna here in the sim. 
So in this sim they do have a lot of fauna. In fact, a few updates ago they really expanded the fauna. But there is none here. There's some south of us. There's rhinoceros being south of us. But anywho, here is your Kruger National Park. It's a game reserve for um, an animals native to the area. Across the border is Mpopo National Park. I didn't read too much about that. So anyway, I'll see you at Fazzy and we'll regroup. Enjoy the sightseeing. And just like that, we're crossing the airport we wanted to aim for, but I want to go back to this view because I love this view. I don't see the airport yet, though. It might be below us because we're close to it, but I just want to watch these rivers wind around, and they're so beautiful. And we are looking into Mozambique in the far distance there. Um, but we're going to stay in South Africa. There's the river bend I wanted to see, where the rivers join together. I think that's so cool. Beautiful on that side too. Let's see if the airport is actually below us. Um, is it that? I don't see an airport here, even though it's in the sim. And in the sim, on the GPS, it makes it look like it's pretty significant. It has to be that. That's wild. I mean, I know we're 6,000, 7,000 above. But that's above sea level, not ground level. All right, let's adjust our heading a little bit and um, head to the north. We're going to stay on the South African side. No reason. It's just, I just want to stay the South African side, I guess. I don't know. Just because that's what the Sitsar grab request was with South Africa. So that's what we're doing. Um, we'll adjust heading more and more as we go here. But again, look at all these airports just everywhere everywhere yeah i think we saw the little one i don't think we saw the big one huh. anyway um that lake again is on the very border of the countries and it's called uh i'm not getting a name oh yes i am well the sabi river em empties into it doesn't say what it is unless it's just part of the river maybe anywho so we're flying north of that and we're just gonna stay along the border and looks like there's some cool terrain that might pick up along the way. Um, anyway, we're going to keep on flying. Let's see, let's zoom out a little bit, see where we're headed. Um, okay, let's go to that airport. I would jokingly say the name, but the bots might demonetize me <laughs> if, I say, <laughs> if I say that out loud. We'll go from there, then we'll go to the next one. How about that? We'll just go airport hopping because why not um that's about it it's just a simple cruise i could have set up an ifr flight ifr flight and used all these airports as waypoints well, that's not fun look at the mountains in the background by the wing um scenery is still pretty good considering they haven't done any updates in this part of the world i'm pretty impressed and look at those clouds we're just below the cloud level oh this is an amazing flight it's just, just incredible. My subscriber requests are always the best flight.
another beautiful, beautiful shot. Everywhere we look, it's just beautiful. Think of all the wildlife down there. And we're about to get to the airport. We wanted to. Um, so let's look outside and see if we can find it this time. Oh, there it is right there. That's pretty obvious. Alrighty, so what I was thinking we would do, um, because the scenery isn't super duper detailed, and because this isn't even halfway of how far I want to go with this, um, yeah, that's barely, not, not quite half. What we're gonna do, we're gonna climb. We're gonna go up to about, oh, come here. Let's go to like 18,000 feet. And that way we can cover more ground a lot more quickly because we'll be higher and our ground speed should pick up. Right now our ground speed is 268. I'm curious what's going to happen with ground. Let's go 16,000. If we have a cruise at 16,000, what's going to happen to our ground speed? It should go up. Um, it would go up if I knew the optimal parameters, which I don't. So let's climb rather, well that's not even aggressive, I'll say aggressively. Let's climb like this up to 16,000. Oxygen, everything is on. We're going to the nurse. Ah, do we need a nurse separator? It's above freezing. We do have clouds. If the clouds are too thick, we will make it clear skies just so we can see everything still. Um, but for now, we'll keep the clouds on. Oh my gosh, look at this gorge or this canyon thing. Whoa, I'm glad I look back here. But anyway, all this too. Looking into Mozambique. Anyway. We'll keep the clouds on for now. We're going to climb. We're going to see if our ground speed increases. Obviously, it's going to decrease while we climb, but we'll see. And I'll keep landing lights on just because I like to. And, um, yeah, we'll see. Because it was only supposed to take an hour if I went direct. And we're already almost, well, I guess I'd be pretty close because that's, well, whatever. Anyway, we're going to climb and just see what happens. It'll look better too because of the series in terms of detail but it still looks gorgeous at any altitude but it'll look really good really good when we're up high so let's climb we'll aim for fewer whatever that says fooker fooker no that's fook that's fooker i think i don't know i need new glasses i'm getting an appointment well by the time you watch this i have oh hang on first of all happy new year everybody by the time you watch this Secondly, by the time you watch this, I'll have new glasses. Maybe I can see this stuff next time. our Lake Massinier right on the border of Mozambique and um, South Africa. We're still on the South African side. But there you go. I think there's a dam there too. I'm pretty sure I saw that when I was looking up the area. I did do a little bit of research this time before I did this flight. 13,000 feet in climbing. We might still be below the clouds except for this group of clouds here. And then we'll see where ground speed ends up being. And are we over the airport? We're almost over that other airport. So let's hop outside, see if we can see it. It's probably that one right there. And then there's a bigger one over here somewhere. And then you can see how it's pretty hilly and rocky and stuff. Um, and animals are quite happy to live there. So from here, where are we going to go? We're just going to head north. So again, I'm trying to look for airports in here. Uh, if there are multiple, there's a cluster of airports here. I won't know which one it is, but this area is where the three countries meet. Um, right between the humps. Right in here, between the two humps. Again, Mozambique, Zimbabwe, and South Africa. That's where we're headed. 
In fact, unless the wind... Oh, we have a nice tailwind. I say the tailwind might blow us, but we can just keep this heading. The wind will blow us a little bit this way. Um, so let's actually adjust for that. Why won't this work? There we go. Let's adjust a little more in the north. Or, yeah. But yeah, we're not quite north yet. Yep. And then um, the wind should blow us this way, right to where we want to go. So that's the plan. When we get closer, I'll start zooming in, looking for airports. Um, but otherwise, I think we're going to have a pretty hefty sightseeing segment now. Oh, look at the lake. Yeah, look at the dam. I have no reason to speak anymore <laughs> for a while. Um, I've talked about the game reserve, the park, national park. Um, actually, it's not. It's a national park on the other side. It's a yeah, it's a national park on both sides. Never mind. Um, so I needed to say we're at cruiser below the clouds. We can turn off initial inertia separator. Um, we should be good. We can keep real world weather going, I think. And we'll see what our ground speed is. See if it's more than 268. If it's less than 268, we'll just burn less fuel. I think. I don't know. I'm not good at cooking that stuff. I never really got into it. Otherwise, I've run out of things to say. I know. Crazy, isn't it? But um, oop, I just hit be on the barometer and look at the big difference. <laughs> anyway. Let's get to cruise, let's see what our ground speed is here, and then we'll get to some sightseeing in a second. Look at that ground speed. Are we going to hit 300? There we go. So what is that? We're almost 40 knots faster than we were lower to the ground. So what you would do is you would climb, you would calculate all this stuff, right? With the weight of the passengers and the weight of the fuel and the luggage and everything. You would calculate, based on weather and all your weight, your optimum cruise altitude. So if we went up to 18,000 feet, would we go faster? Now remember your airspeed, that's your airspeed. We're talking about ground speed, right? Um, would we go faster if we were higher? Maybe. But at some point, we wouldn't have enough power to get through the thinner air. And it wouldn't, you know, then you go backwards again. So I don't know if this is optimum or not. We might be able to get more speed out of this. I think, I thought this thing did like 400 something. So we're clearly not at optimum height because we're only doing 306 instead of whatever it is supposed to be. So Google says 290 knots ground speed cruise. So we're way above that. So somehow I defied physics and we're going faster. So I don't know where I got the 400 from, but whatever. We're going at a good clip. So we're cruising. Weather's good. Everything is good. I have nothing more to say. Um, we'll see you when we get closer to the meeting of the countries. I'll zoom in, we'll get some airports, we'll find one, and we'll land. So enjoy some extended sightseeing.
Okay, I know I said extended sightseeing, and that was not extended sightseeing, <laughs> because I wanted to show you something. Um, we're going to turn away here. So I found this exact spot in Google Maps by accident. I just happened to zoom in and found this exact spot. Um, and this line you see here, that's literally the border of Mozambique in South Africa. This line. So I'm going to be ignorant here, and I don't know if that's a road or a wall or a fence or they carve it out so you know the border um it looks to me like a dirt road when i zoom in on google maps but not really um i mean it looks like a road in terms of the road view you know where you don't use satellites i think that's a road like a dirt road or something literally the border of the two countries and this here is called shingomeni Shingomeni? Shingomeni. So I just want to point that out because I thought it was cool that it just happened to zoom in on Google Maps at that exact second. So if we follow this road, so we can actually probably turn back a little bit. And following the road should lead us to the area where all three countries meet. In fact, you can see the river where they meet right here. See that river? That's the river here. There's our airport. Uh, Fox right off in November. Oscar or Quebec? I think it's Oscar. That's where we're going to land. That's my plan. I think that's the one I planned on anyway before I started the flight. But that's where we're going no matter what. It's like a camp or something. So we're going to land there. So we're not that far away because 25 nautical miles radius. So, excuse me, I have the hiccups. We don't have very far to descend. So I think I'm going to start descending. Excuse me, these hiccups. I'm trying not to give them to the microphone more mountains there so let's go all the way down i uh, shoot i didn't look at what the elevation was of the area let's go down to six thousand for now until i can find it on the map and get the elevation so here's six thousand and we're going to do vertical speed down bring back the throttle so we don't over speed and um let's see 25 we're going how fast we're we going to Trying to calculate the descent, which I used to do all the time in X plane when I fly slant off with the 727. I kind of miss those days, kind of don't. So we're going to come down at this rate, and I'll just use the throttles to slow us down if we need more time. If we don't need more time, I can speed us up. So there you go. Approach checklist. Um, do we know the weather? I don't know. We're not going to get the weather. Unless I pull up this. Where are you? I can pull up this. And I can pull up Metar. And I can find an airport that might know, but I don't think any of these are going to know. Um, unless I just randomly pick one that's big enough to have met our. So we don't know the weather. We're not going to get the weather. I could probably go on Sky Vector and get it. But you know me, my big whole thing is doing everything within the sim without using extra resources. Aside from a few planes that were gifted to me from big radios. That's an extra resource. That's a different plane. But everything else in the sim. So we're going to fly there. We're headed down 14,000. I don't think that's going to be fast enough. Let's go down a little bit more steeply. And then I'll bring back throttles to slow us down so we buy ourselves some time. And I forgot what I was going to do. What was I going to do? I was going to do one more thing. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Whether we don't know, landing lights are already on. Let's do the jimmer switch now just so we don't forget. There we go. Get ready for landing. Inertial separator? Do we need the inertial separator? We're not going through clouds. We don't need it. Uh, flaps down, gear down later. And there's no way we're going to land or descend in time. So what we'll do is we'll just go there, circle around. Um, let's tune it in, though. That's an Oscar Quebec. I can't tell. It is a Quebec. There we go. Parfuri Camp. That's the one I meant to land at before I even started the flight. I'm very excited. Select a one way for landing. What's your weather like? I think we have a tailwind. So let's do 17. Oh, it might not be a tailwind on the ground. But whatever, let's do 17. Um, runway 17, and now it's our position, wherever it is. Foxtrot Alpha, November, Quebec. Traffic Turtle Soup, Tango, 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 4115 miles south, 12,700 feet inbound to land runway 17. Alrighty, I really wish I could remember what I was going to say. I'll remember in editing, but I actually had something that was related to what we're doing. I can't remember what it is. Oh well, doesn't matter. Um, everything is good, right? Everything looks good. 
Everything is good there. We're just coming down steeply, that's all. And we're bringing back throttles again to buy us some time. Oh, I know what it was. I was going to look up the airport elevation on the VFR map. Duh. So we're going to go here. We're going to click on this. Oh, 689 feet. So let's just say 1,000. So 6,000 is too high. So let's do... We normally want to do 1,500 above. So that'll be two grand. Let's do 2,200 feet. And that'll get us in the ballpark. So again, we're slowing down this speed laterally, horizontally to buy us more time to get down vertically, right? I could keep our speed up, but then we'd be way too high. We'd be in circles. My plan is to come around here, do kind of an inspection pass, and land from the other direction, from the water. That's the plan. And I'm really sorry, the extended sightseeing was shorter than normal. Alright, we're over airport. I know because if you look here, that's our airport. <laughs> and we're still at 6,000 feet. Let's kill autopilot now. If I can, there we go. Turn off yaw damper, flight director. I'm going to do this ourselves. I guess we're going to do a right traffic pattern because that's just what we made up. And landing gear is mad. I guess we can do landing gear now, even though we still have some turns to make. That will cause drag and help us get down. Does this airplane have spoilers? I can't remember. I thought it did, but I'm not getting any spoilers, so maybe it doesn't. Alrighty, runway is behind us. Um, let's come out here a little bit. Let's report a downwind leg, which is five. Foxtrot Alpha November Quebec, traffic turtle soup Tango 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 41 is on downwind runway 17. And I'm moving us out a little bit so that we can have more space to turn around for an actual base leg. Um, and let's put heading bug on 17 so we have an orientation of the runway let's not descend too much quite yet whoa come on now 17 is taking forever that's be a fast way to do this but i don't know there's 15 just about 16 and 17 there we go that's our runway so we still have plenty of space if you want to turn around but i want to look around for a minute but it is so beautiful. Look at all those trees. Water. Oh, some hills. I bet it looks exactly like this in real life, too. Alright, let's go to a base leg, which is going to be turning to the right. Foxtrot Alpha November Quebec. Traffic turtle soup Tango Tango. Tango 41 is on base runway 17. And it looks like... <laughs> we're going to have a perfect crosswind now that we're lower. 20 knots. Can this thing safely land with a 20 knot crosswind? I don't want to say it can. Maybe it can. Um, whew. That's pretty serious. 20 knot crosswind. Where is our airport? I don't see it. Is that it right there? Maybe. Alright, first set of flaps. And this is our running orientation. And I don't see an airport. So, where did Turtle go wrong? Other than getting too low too fast. I'm not too low. We're at 3,000 feet. Um, hmm. We're going to rely heavily on the GPS now. Because I'm lost. Because I got too low. Darn it. Maybe that's it right there. Perhaps. Um... I also did too aggressive of a turn onto base. If it would have done a little less aggressive, maybe it would have kept an eye on the prize. But now we're in trouble. Darn it. That's okay, we'll figure this out. Gears down, flaps are down. One set anyway. My little... There it is, right there already. Oh, really? Okay. 
I, I don't know. Whatever. GPS didn't even help me with that one. I just used my eyes. We're really high to land there, but you know what? We're going to make it. Let's slip it. Even though I got full flaps. People can argue in the comments if we can slip this plane with flaps or not. Probably not, but whatever. We are anyway. Slipping is when you use, for example, right rudder, left early on. And look how we're sinking fast without speeding up. So that way you can sink like a rock instead of fly like a paper airplane. See that? Coming down at 2400 feet per minute, we would probably have some passengers throwing up. But we're also not speeding up either, so... If I were to nose down to do this, we'd be doing like 300 knots. So we are really slipping it in. <laughs> well, my word, it probably looks really smooth and silky to you. But if you saw what I was doing <laughs> to get this way... Oh my gosh, that was... That was a very insane slip. Oh my word, I'm still slipping it a little bit. This crosswind is nuts. I got right rudder. A lot of left early on just to look like we're going straight. Because look at the crosswind. So it looks like everything is fine. But I am working for this. I am working my tail off for this landing. So hopefully it goes okay. Hit the stall horn. Ground effects. Come on. Boom. There we go. Reversers engaged, I think. Flaps coming in. Dang. That looked silky smooth, but I worked for that one so hard. I am so proud of that landing. I think that's probably my best landing in Flight Sim ever. Short field landing on the grass. Cra crazy crosswind. Crabbed it in. Firm landing like you need. Oh my gosh, that's probably my best ever flight sim landing. Dang. I'm going to remember that one for a while. I don't know where we're going. I just know that we're going to get off this runway in a minute here. So that some other people can land. Um, but what was that? It was Foxtrot Alpha November Quebec. I have to remember that. Huh. Anyway. We'll do an outro here in a minute. I just want to get off the runway. Am I clear yet? What is it going to tell me I'm clear? Uh, do you mean all the woods? There we go. Foxtrot Alpha November Quebec. Traffic Turtle Soup Tango 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 41 is clear of the runway. Oh man, that was fun. I'm just going to go over here because this looks cool. You can get like boats and cars and things to float around and drive around with in the sim on the marketplace. I was looking at them today, actually. Oh, yeah. They got the right kind of trees and everything. Look at that. Oh, this is fantastic. This is amazing. All right, we're going to park right here, which is probably swampy. This is where we're going to park. Right there. Oh, man. What an amazing flight. Like I said, my subscribers always have the best requests always already stopped the timer 53 minutes yeah so yeah just under an hour that's what's supposed to take so that's good um dimmer switch can, no let's see no taxi lights on while we're done taxiing we just use landing lights because we're on the runway most of the time dimmer switch can come off so people can see what they're doing if they want to nav lights and pulse lights can come off now are they off there we go uh what else oxygen and switch yeah we're good there Flaps up. Uh, why would it say flaps up? Flaps have been up for a long time. Parking brake is set. Strobe light can come off now as well. If I can find it, there it is. Uh, fuel select can go back to manual. I don't know why you need to do that, but you can. AP trims off. Yes, they are. Bleed can come off. And this is when everybody's collecting their things, by the way. Conditioners cut off on the yoke. Yep. Nurses separator off. We didn't use it on the way down. Um, all icing off. Yeah, we can probably turn that stuff off. There we go. And boost pump off wherever you are. There we go. Things are going to ding at us. And bam, we are dark. There we go. Everybody out. Everybody out. Do these doors open? I don't think so. Oh, there's a handle. Like it does open. Look. What a tease. 
I didn't know this stuff opened. Are you serious? When did... Whoa, that's amazing what that is. When did that happen? When did they start that? Can I walk out of here? No. There's an invisible fence. But... Um... That's amazing. I did not know you could do that. Alrighty, anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the flight. This is one of my favorite flights I've done in a very long time. And I'm so proud of that landing. Like I said, it looked like it was smooth straight in, but if you saw how much work I needed to get that plane in, that was incredible. Super happy. Gorgeous area. Even though it hasn't had a world update, it's still very gorgeous to look at. Thank you to my subscriber for introducing me to this part of the world. I couldn't be happier. If you want to see other things that I fly and come up with as we welcome each other into the new year, make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on. If you have a request of your own, leave it in the comments below. It needs to be a default plane or a big radios plane. Those are the only planes I have. Prefer not to do a jumbo jet. I'm not a fan. But anyway, leave your ideas in the comments below and I'll fly them as soon as I can. And um, hit the like button so the algorithm tells people we're here. More and more people tell me they wish they would have discovered me earlier, which is super flattering. I do this for everybody else, not just myself. People pick things up and learn things through my videos as I learn too. I'm still a learner after 25 plus years of flight sim. So join me for the journey and I'll see you next time.